Hi, my name is Steve Hansen. I'm a developer at Geotab. I'm going to take you on a tour of the My Geotab SDK. An SDK is a software development kit, which helps people use a platform to extend some functionality. The My Geotab SDK can be used to create apps for smartphones or integrate My Geotab data with third-party software. This could be accounting software that bills a customer based on trip distance or create My Geotab add-ins. Add-ins provide a way to add new functionality and value-adding features inside the My Geotab application and automate tasks such as bulk importing devices, users, or zones to My Geotab from an Excel spreadsheet. Getting started with the SDK is easy. Just open up your favorite browser and navigate to sdk.geotab.com. Now just click on the SDK button on this page. Here we'll find everything we need to get started with the SDK. The landing page is getting started. This provides some general information about the SDK and illustrates how to install a device, register a database, and make your first API call. The concept section describes the fundamentals of the API. The API is JSON RPC over HTTPS using GET and POST requests. An advantage of being web-based is that the API is not tied to a programming language. It can be used by any language that supports HTTPS. In the concept section, we'll find information on how to make HTTP GET requests, HTTP POST requests, the results and errors we'll receive back, how to authenticate a user, working with dates, units of measure, entities, ID, building block approach, and multi-calls. This section is important when you first start. Read through here to get a basic understanding of how the API works and API-specific conventions. The API reference is a list of all the methods and objects that are exposed via the API. Methods will display the required and optional parameters and the expected data type for those parameters. The search bar offers a convenient way to find the information you're looking for. We're going to search for the get method here. A great feature of the SDK is the API runner. You can click runner from any of the API methods. Let's test this by searching for a device. I'm going to remove the search parameters from this query, add the type name device, and click run. You'll see it's asking me for my credentials now. I'm going to add the server my.geotab.com and my database g560 and my credentials. And I'll click run again. There we go. There's my device. This is the JSON view of the device object that was returned, its property, and the values of those properties. The runner authenticated our user against the database we specified and made a request to get one device object. Let's head back to the SDK to see what else is available to us. The SDK provides API wrappers for JavaScript and .NET. This is basically just a simple interface for authenticating and making requests to a database. .NET also provides an object library. This is convenient because when using the API wrapper, the JSON results will automatically be deserialized from JSON to .NET objects. In the code sample section, we'll find JavaScript examples, .NET examples, simple how-to examples for common operations, such as showing the current location and driving status for all vehicles, adding a driver to the system, getting count of stops at a given client zone, and many more. Let's try out one of the JavaScript examples. From the JavaScript examples page, 
there's a link to click here to download. You'll see we downloaded a javascript.zip file. Let's open it to see the examples. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop to extract the examples to. I'll call mine JS examples. And let's extract the files there. Let's close off this window and open the examples up here. Now let's test out the import devices example. I'll enter my credentials. This is the database that the devices will be imported to. And I'll click sign in. Now I'll head over to my My Geotab database and see no devices added. The gray box here gives us the structure of the data we want to enter. So serial number, comma, device name, comma, the group name. And then a line break, another device, line break, next device. For my example, I'll just add a single device. So I'll enter this serial number here, then a comma, the device name. I'll just say Steve device and the group name. I'll say my group is Canada. And then I'll click import device. Great, looks like our device was imported successfully. But what's this about check the browser console for details? I'm using Chrome here. So I'll open my developer tools by pushing F12. Oh, and what's this? We can see some information was logged to the console. And this is just more details about what happened. Successfully imported Steve device, that's my device name, and then the device ID that was returned. Now I'll head back to my database to see if the device was added. Let me refresh the page, and there we go. There's my device. You can see my group is Canada. This example used the API to authenticate our user get groups, and add a new device to our database, all using the API. Let's head back to the SDK. If you ever get stuck and can't find the answer in the SDK, a great resource is the developer forum. The forum is a great way to find answers to common questions and connect with other developers in the MyGeotab community. Geotab monitors the forums, and we do our best to make sure questions are answered quickly. The forum can be reached by clicking this link in the SDK or by navigating to geotab.com, click support, and click developer forum. This was a short introduction to the tools available to you in the SDK. I encourage you to explore the SDK in detail to see all the great tools and resources that are available to you. Thanks for joining me for this short introduction to the MyGeotab SDK. See you next time.